Hi, I thought you guys would like to see inside a uh, Microsoft Xbox safety device for the Xbox um, version 1, revision 1, the black Xbox. This is um, part number X800924-TAC100. Um, this device was sent out to customers after complaints of safety issues with the mains lead, the figure of 8 mains lead. I'm not sure the details, but this trip came with an old Xbox I bought. I thought you'd like to see inside it. This is how it works. I'm not sure if this is an RCD. I think it is an RCD. I thought it was just a, like an overcurrent trip, but it think, I think it's actually an RCD device. To reset it, you press reset. And it flashes. Press the test button. And it trips. To reset it, press that. <clears throat> the green indicator appears back in the window there. Let's trip it again so you can see the flag, the green flag go off. There you go. So, if my light works okay, let me get this light position properly. Yeah, so inside the device, <clears throat> you will find I've unscrewed this. This this came with some um, rather high security, well, supposedly high security. Um, torque screws with a pin in the centre but a, a very thin flat blade screwdriver soon got round those there's four of those um, yeah four of those I forgot <coughs> I forgot I've turned the autofocus off so there you go four of those screws which are buried in there let me show that there 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 and there Anyway, so inside the device, very very careful if you undo yours because there's mains in here. As you can see, you have live and neutral coming in. <coughs> live is brown, neutral is blue. In the UK, if you live in a different country, you may have a different colour going into this device. But there you go. Um, very carefully, I pull off the top button plastic, a little piece of plastic there, and pull off the reset button. There you go, there's a the device inside. This one's actually live, so I'm being very careful what I touch. Um, be careful of this piece here. This is a spring loaded latch. This latch. Um, if you test, if you press the test button while this pin is pushed in this way without putting your finger over the top this will catapult, be propelled at high speed up into the air I lost my spring and had to scour the floor for the spring so be careful if you're testing it with the cover off the test button is there by the way, the little orange button there your finger over the top of the test button. Sorry, over the top of the uh, reset button. So I'm going to test it. I'll fire upwards. If I press reset. I'm to keep forgetting where the light is, so there you go. Press test again. I'll show the inner working <coughs> inner workings of this in a second. Okay. I'll take it out off the mains because I don't want to get that tricky too particularly. Okay, lots of mains removed. <coughs> so you'll see in here a little test board, a trip board of some sort. It's got various ICs on it. I'm not sure what they are. One's an op amp, I think, an LM3. Five eight. That's just there. Oops. Let me turn my turn my auto focus back on again. Auto focus back on. Okay. So let's see if we can see what's powering this. What's making this thing work? I think. I think it's an LM three five eight op amp. Yeah, I was right, it, it is. That's my 
That's some sort of microchip I see there. Made by Microchip Corporation. I'm not sure what that is. I did actually try taking the paint off it to see. A little bit of paint, but I'm quite, not quite sure what that is. Um, it says 448 at the end, I think. Anyway, <clears throat> so there's your transformer to power the little the low voltage part of this. Uh, bridge rectifier there. You can see that with the two plus plus and minus terminals on, on there. Um, okay, let's see the mechanism itself. I'm sure that's what you want to see. So let's take, take this thing out of the casing. One end up, the other end up. Lift the transformer out. There's the casing. It's very well made, this casing. I presume that's for the paranoia from Microsoft getting, they didn't want to get sued for safety infringements. So this casing is very well made. It's got a sort of honeycomb lattice inside, which sort of slopes upwards. Seems to strengthen the casing somewhat. Anyway, that's the upper case. And there's your lower casing. With a bit of glue left behind to hold the transformer in. Okay. So inside here, these are your mains input terminals. So let me show you how the mechanism works. What happens is, okay, there's a sort of translucent casing over the trip. So I'm going to remove that by lifting on these two latch tabs here. One there. Make sure this is unplugged, whatever you do. If you have one, you'll take it apart. One there, and that lifts off eventually. Get the light positioned again. Allow the camera to focus. Come on, camera, wake up. Okay. Let me set the autofocus off because it keeps on going out of focus. <coughs> so, that casing's now off. That's the casing of the trip. So this mechanism is very clever, very simple but very clever. What happens is, your pin there, let me just get my screwdriver, why is my screwdriver when you need it? There it is. I'm going to release this latch. Okay, so there's your latch pin, plastic pin. Not sure if you can see that. Okay. That basically is spring loaded. That goes into that hole there. Um, give you a side view. Goes into that hole. Through the hole. It comes out through here. You see? And what it does is when you push it to reset the trip, the, 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 um, the latching part of the pin. Let me get this camera adjusted properly. Yeah, so the latching part of the pin pushes through that square hole and through a metal metal plate which is attached to a solenoid. This isn't like that. Let me just get this light positioned. Hmm, <laughs> he says. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Quite hard if you've never filmed with one hand and positioned with the other hand, never mock because it's hard to do, especially at two in the morning. Okay, so the latched pin, sorry, the barbed pin, even it's got a plastic barb on the end, it's, it comes through here, it protrudes, comes through there, it catches. You see that it catches on the solenoid and it pulls these contacts here down. There's two spring loaded contacts, one there and one there. So basically what happens is when that catch is released, which is the same as the solenoid pulling in 
so let's simulate the solenoid let's say the solenoid pulls in you see it releases that pin push it back and it goes it catches the pin and pulls the contacts down you see there's the contacts let me focus this again this light is not very good there we go up down up down so the trip <coughs> excuse me the trip is activated solenoid pulls in pin is released spring pressure is removed from this contact and the contacts open push the pin back down the barb goes up catches on that plate pulls the contacts back, back shut again it's really a very clever mechanism it's uh, quite an amazing uh, degree of high quality engineering for a device just designed to stop an xbox uh, burning mind you like i said microsoft are obviously paranoid about their customers houses burning down they don't the houses to burn down do they so they made this lovely little bit of kit so let me show you that one more time in case you didn't get it okay let's deactivate this so the plastic pin spring loaded here this thing here I'll put the pin on it so you can see there's a spring on there okay so ground to the side it goes in this hole there you go in that hole like that and through the other side it comes out there catches on that, on that metal uh, plate which latches and pulls the contact down under pressure from the spring here that spring is pushing up underneath that button which pulls these contacts shut like that uh, <coughs> yeah solenoid tripped which is the trip going off that pulls the solenoid in releases the pin spring pressure is released and the contacts spring open very clever very clever Microsoft <laughs> let's let's be sure about one thing I bet Microsoft didn't design this thing it's too clever for them there you go guys so that is the that is the part number x800 oops x800 924-100 um, and when it's reassembled let's reassemble let's see if we can identify it <coughs> bottom casing let's get the pin back in before it flies off just be careful like I said with the mains make sure the mains is off before you fiddle around with this thing and also make sure that you do not activate the pin do not uh, deactivate the trip while the cover is off and if you, make sure your finger is right over that pin that uh, activation pin there if you trip it with a test button here by depressing it because if you don't that'll go flying off into the into space <laughs> well not quite space but so transformer goes in there first strain relief goes in there you see that strain relief just sits in there like that uh, this mechanism goes other strain relief goes in there this mechanism goes down eventually he says so that PCB then goes in there. It's a very well made bit of kit. So this video is so long. It's taken me quite a time to get this back to go back in. Right, there we go. So the strain relief is now in there. And that one's in there. Transforms in there. It's ready to be reassembled. Oh no, I forgot something. I forgot to replace the bottom housing of the trip, the bottom translucent housing, which is here. 
so camera and light back in place you need to get this right way around that goes on there and this end the wires make sure make sure the wires are clear of the housing <clears throat> clip that down that wire goes in that gap there somehow yeah like that well as best you can there you go, that's held in place by those plastic uh, plastic slotted holes are there. So yeah, transformer in. And let's recess that down there. This oops. This strain will leave in first. Make sure the wires don't foul the edge of the case. Actually, these wires sit in this sit in this slotted part here. The slotted part here, and those wires sit in there. Um, make sure that mains lead is up. Push the PCB down. Man, this is a bit of a. Perhaps it's just because it's two a.m. and I'm tired. That's it. But it's in place now. So, strain relief in. Um, these mains wires here have to sit in these slots in the casing. These two slots here, which you can see, there's cutouts in the case in the back. Um, in the back of this plastic barrier, there's cutouts here, so you can the wires. Let me just get the proper angle on this. The wires sit in those cutouts, you see, like that. <clears throat> okay, that's back together. Let's make sure this thing works still. Now, then, keeping your fingers clear of the mains terminals, do not touch these mains terminals at all. Whatever you do, I don't want to teach young young eyes to. Uh, work on live equipment that's for sure so keep your finger over the top of this button but well away from the mains terminals push this pin in trip it by pressing the test button here and it fires up the solenoid releases releases the pin the pin under spring pressure goes up and the trip is off reset it push the pin in the barb catches on the solenoid um, plate the plate the solenoid engages into pulls the contact shut and we're back on again um, so the final step is to replace this um, this test button here has a, a polarizing pin here which polarizes it you can only go one way, one way around there's actually a a hole just be, just above the reset button there's a little hole um, just here we can see that just there oops there so that button goes in like that on top this uh, this button here has a polarizing slot just there just there which sits in the matching not a slot sorry a key um, the matching slot on the button it sits on top of there. There you go. And put the lid on. Checking all the mains wires are clear. Make sure there's no see here there's a wire found in the found in the casing. So I want to make sure that wire is out of the way. And tucked inside the casing. Now Replace the case. So that's back together. Push it hard and she's back together. Test. Reset. There you go, guys. The X800 924 100 Microsoft Xbox Generation 1 trip. <laughs>